Hello guys, so this is The Rosen Genius and in this video I want to talk about the paintbrush color change. The paintbrush color change can also be used as a switch if you want to, it has very many different possibilities. But the change looks like this, let me show you this. So let's say we pick the top card which is the Jack of Clubs. We are going to take the Jack of Clubs and then it changes to the three of hearts just like that so let me do this one more time uh, let's say we pick the top card and the top card is actually the nine of hearts if we just do this then it changes to the eight of clubs just like that now the paint plus change can also be used like this let me show you how it can also be used like this now look we have the jack of clubs on top we're gonna try to change the jack of clubs, now look. Just like that, three of diamonds. This looks better from a different angle, but still you get the idea, I think. So once again, it if I need to do this once again, it will look like, like this. Let me get a different card, there was it. It will look like this, ten of spades. Just like that, it changes. There are very many ways of doing this, and that is one of the ways that I used to do it. So, how the paint plus change, it is done. It is done like this. You are going to get a double lift, and if you don't know how to do a double lift, there's going to be a link in the description for how you can do a double lift if you want to learn it. So, once you have just done the double lift, you're going to hold the card, the two cards, like this. Your middle finger is going to be close to the corner and your index finger is going to be close to the other corner and your thumb is going to be on top just like this as you can see. A lot of people they do it like this where they hold it in the middle and then they do it. That looks very weird in my opinion. I do not like it. So hold it like this with your fingers. That seems to be way more natural in my opinion. You need to find the grip which works best for your hands. Once you're holding it like this, your thumb is going to be close to the corner because it is going to be dropping one card in a moment. So once again, you do the double lift and you are in this position. Right now I'm going to be doing it in this position just like this. So try to move your fingers up here just like this, not in the middle but more below. So once you're going to be doing this, what's going to happen is that this corner, as you can see, so the top corner closest to the other hand, it's going to be touching the deck, keeping in contact, your first finger is squaring up the corner, and then you're going to be doing this like this, up and then down. You do this about two times, and then on the third time you're going to let the car go. So it looks like this. Just like that. Sometimes I do it like this and sometimes I go way more down just like that to cover most of the card because there are so many ways of doing this move. If you want you can do this move like this if you want to. You can do this move like this where you cover almost everything and then come back up again. So the idea is if you did like this where you cover most of the card you can do it like that. Or you can do it like that, where you are not covering anything. So it looks like this, as you can see. Just like that. So it depends what you like the most. Just like that, that's how it looks like. Now it depends on what you like the most and what feels to be best for your hands. But that is something that I like to do. And once again, it looks like this. Just like that. So anyways, that was it. I really hope you enjoy this. And here's a very nice switch that you can do if you want to. The switch looks like this. You have two cards. And you're going to show the card. And then in the action of doing this, then the card is actually on top. So anyways, as always, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoy this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to share the video, then feel free to do so. So once again, make sure to comment below if you have any requests because I'm trying to figure out which move to teach. So once again, thanks all for watching and see you next time.